Now I don't think I'm ready for this just yet. I know all I've done is move. Um, I could choose to assault these orcs. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these orcs out um, before I try and assault this city and it might refresh my hand a little bit. Um, I'm going to play mana draw first which says you can use one additional mana die from the source this turn. And after playing this what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, white mana which is actually going to be a gold one from the source to give me ranged attack 3 and then the red mana to give me um, this extra power of battle versatility ranged attack 3 so that gives me ranged that will give me ranged attack 6 so let's grab those one gold so I'll use this gold mana as white give me ranged attack 3 and then the red mana from my inventory to give me ranged attack 3 so that's ranged attack 3 ranged attack, that's ranged attack 6 with my action this turn I'm assaulting these Ironclad Orcs here with ranged attack 6. Now remember I had to use 6 because they've got um, this physical resistance so I need twice as much attack as their armour. So 6 is enough to kill these Orcs. So for defeating these Rampaging Orcs I get 4 fame 1, 2, 3, 4, now on 21 and plus one reputation. So I'm all the way up here now on my reputation track. Okay, I think that's going to end the turn. Not quite enough to level up, and this city's going to be quite tricky. It's defended by swamps. Let's put these back in the source. Let's clear up. I've still got this wound. And now we should be able to draw back up to our five. We've got stamina, promise, our fireball, and my shield. Now this is sure to be able to help us. We've got a little bit of move. Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay, demi player's turn. There's only one card left, so that's that they will declare end of round next turn. So we've got at least two more turns. Right, here we are then for the start of my turn. I don't think I'm ready to take these cities down just yet. I want to recruit some more units, take them with me, try and get rid of these wounds. Uh, I think I need a bit more power before I start taking these things down. I've got one more night one more day, one more night. So I've got three more rounds. I've only had... Uh, what's this? This is the third round. So I'm coming up to halfway through. Right, I want to get across these swamps. So I want to generate five movement. Okay, so I'm going to play um, stamina for move four. If I fuel it with one blue mana from the source. And then I'll play Ice Shield sideways for one more. That's move five. And with that move I'm going to move into these swamps. Now having moved adjacent to the city, these tokens get turned face up. So we reveal the defenders see what we have. Nasty. I think that's a Medusa. And another one. Oh my goodness. And this white enemy is an Alton Mage. So two Medusas and an Alton Mage. Not pretty. <laughs> oh dear. Now, I really want to take these orcs out, but I need some red mana, which 
I have in the source, but I've already used the source this turn, so I might just stick where I am, finish my turn there, and then have a go crack at them next turn. Right, let's re-roll this dice for the source. That's another red. Put that back in there. Clear up my discards. And then redraw back up to five for the start of the next turn. We drew Tranquility and Threaten. And now it's dummy player's turn. They've got no cards in their deck, so they're going to declare end of round. So we get one final turn before we move into the second night. Okay, so now I've got to max out this turn as much as possible. Well, the first one's a no-brainer. I'm going to heal up and get rid of this wound card. And then... I am. Um, I don't think I can do anything with these, but for the next part of my turn, I'm going to assault these orcs, and I'm going to use ranged attack on them. I need ranged attack four. I can use my fireball. Fuel it with one man from the source, and bang, that's enough to kill those orcs. So they get discarded and they give me fame 3, 1, 2, 3, we've now leveled up to level 5, we're on 24 fame, and plus 1 reputation, so I'm now on the plus 3 influence. And that's it for my turn. There's nothing I can do with these now. Um, so, okay, that's it. That's enough. Let's re-roll this for the source. Blue. And let's tidy up. And now we can level up. And leveling up's easy here. We just take this skill token and turn it into a command token and you can see now our hand limit has gone up to six our armor remains at three and that's the end of the round so now we're moving into the second night let's re-roll our mana for the source a white a gold and a green that gold there is depleted. We will refresh the unit offer. This goes on the bottom. Now we've revealed a core tile now. So when we refresh, we alternate. We draw one gold, one silver, and one gold. So these are elite units, regular units, elite units. Now we refresh the monastery advanced actions. We have two monasteries, so we get two advanced actions, Diplomacy and Decompose. Now we refresh the advanced actions offer, so this shuffles down, this one goes on the dummy player deck, and now we refresh the spell offer, so these shuffle down, we draw a new one, Chill and Lethal Chill. And this one gets discarded and it's a red spell. So the dummy player gets a red crystal added to their inventory. That's really building up now. We're going to give these a shuffle to form a new deck. And now we do the same for Arathia. So this gets reshuffled into our D deck. We can refresh our Red Cape Monks and reset our Dark Fire Magic ready for the next round. Now 
now we've finished shuffling, we just need to draw our six cards now to get our hand ready for the next round. We need to switch to our nighttime tactics. Draw one for myself and one for the dummy player. I'm going to take Midnight Meditation. And then we shuffle and let the dummy player draw one. Preparation. That's a shame. That's a good tactic. I almost chose that one. But um, I start with quite a good hand as it goes. Okay. So I have four. Dummy has five, so I get to go first. I'm going to keep this card near my play area so I remind myself. Once this time this night, before any of your turns, you may shuffle up to five cards, including wounds, from your hand back into your deep deck and then draw that many cards. 